simultaneously, Dave Rossum had completed his uh, modular control keyboard, which played multiple notes simultaneously uh, because it had digital scanning and it could direct individual control voltages and uh, gates outward. So that keyboard that Dave Rossum made, uh, Tom Oberheim, who was putting together a synthesizer with his SEMs, wanted to use it in combination with his SEMs to create a monster polyphonic synthesizer. Tom Oberheim's multiple voice systems came out, which were a much more accurate realization of the modular concept applied to polyphony because each voice that you created had its own oscillators, filters, envelopes, etc. And you could set each voice to its own frequency and its own timbre, which was more consistent with what would have come out of, say, a Moog modular. Uh, but the problem was, with all that power, the power to have each of your voices individually unique, you still didn't have the power to say, this D is going to this voice. You had to kind of just take it as the scanning keyboard delivered it which still wasn't bad and it certainly wasn't bad for rock and it was certainly a really interesting timbral situation really cool patches could come out of there but what people ended up doing more often than not was setting all the oscillators to the same frequency setting all the oscillators all the filters to the same sounds and basically recreating that same single voice for all of the notes that way you couldn't tell that the digital scanning was just you know throwing each uh, key note on to whatever available oscillator it, it randomly would. So basically with homogenizing the synthesizer so that all of the oscillators have the same timbre, etc., you kind of shot its capability in the foot and also set up the future of polyphony.